the debut of Tommy Hutchison, the long-awaited winger brought to Seattle to add some scoring punch to the Sounders' attack. He and his teammates will be facing another dangerous forward in San Jose's Georgie Best, who is making his comeback in the NASL. From the Kingdom, it's the Seattle Sounders and the San Jose Earthquakes. Last week I talked to a man that spent $3 million revitalizing the Portland Timbers. Tonight I have the honor to talk to a man that I think at one time in his career was worth $3 million, George Best. George, welcome to Seattle and certainly welcome back to the North American Soccer League. Thank you. It's nice to be back. You know, uh, it's always nice to get a break from the bad weather back at home and get back here and see some of the, some old friends. George, have you finally found a home in San Jose, a permanent home, or uh, can we expect to see you traveling back to England after this year? Well, before I left, I had uh, three or four offers from English clubs, so I'm just going to play until the end of the season and decide at the end of the season what I'm going to do. Talking about tonight's game, obviously a, a, a important game for San Jose. Mm -hmm. uh, Seattle off to the best start they've ever had, and uh, your team not off to the greatest start. You've only been with the team a couple of games. Yeah. What can we expect to see? Well, we're sort of really in an experimental stage. Uh, I don't think we really expect to win. As you say, Seattle got off to a tremendous start. They're a very class, classy side, and uh, we'll be happy you know, to get away with a, a win, but I'm not really expecting too much. So George Best and his team isn't going to pull off a major or minor earthquake tonight? Uh, well, I'd like to. Uh, we'll just see how it goes. I hope so. Okay. Thanks for joining okay. us, and certainly welcome back, and good luck tonight. Thank you. Okay, Steve, uh, certainly a classy man, but I don't think they're going to have enough class tonight to beat the Seattle Sanders. Back up to you. The referees for tonight's game in the middle, John Morris from San Diego. On the left, John Ott from Vancouver. And on the right from Portland, Willie the Platt. And the alternate, Gary Shugarts. Seattle is the leader in this series, 8-6. to six. Seattle against San Jose at home has split 4-4. Four and four. The starting lineups for tonight's game, first for San Jose in goal, Mike Hewitt. From left to right on the back line, number 20, Charlie Kadubski. Number five, Vasa Ratonski. He'll be wearing the mask tonight as Roger Davies broke his nose in the first game that these two teams played two weeks ago. Number six, Mike, Mike Churchman. Number two, Ani Mihailovic. In the midfield, from left to right. Number 11, Georgie Best. Number nine, Bernie Gersdorf. And number 23, Andreas Maseko. And on the front line, number 12, Ibrahim Silva, number 22, uh, Victor Baptista, and number 19, Billy Sauter. For Seattle, tonight, some lineup changes. In goal, number one, Jack Brand, from left to right, back line. Number 16, Jeff Stock. Number 29, Ian Bridge. Number 18, Bruce Riach, and number three, David Nish. In midfield, Steve Buttle, 15. Alan Hudson, number four. Six, Roy Greaves. Up front, number 20, his first performance for Seattle, Tommy Hutchison. Number eight at striker, Roger Davies. Number 10, Derek Smethurst starting tonight. And a couple of surprises in the lineup tonight, Cliff. Well, one of the surprises, of course, is not seeing Mark Peterson there. Uh, Mark's been the young American lad. Uh, he was injured, and he's nursing an injury a bit. But, uh, of course, we have the presence of Tommy Hutchison, the Scottish uh, all-star. And this is going to uh, open up the middle for Roger Davies, as we've been promising. And... It's going to create uh, many more scoring opportunities as they get the attack underway. First oh. game between these two played Saturday, April 19th at uh, Spartan Stadium. Seattle winning it in front of 12,875 at Spartan Stadium. One to nothing. Roger Davies is a goal at 87.54, an assist from Steve Buttle and Bruce Miller. Hudson on the wing. Sending it down now to Nish, who's onside. They try working the trap, didn't work. Sending it in front. Cleared away by Ratonsky, moving in Greaves. Cleared away by Baptista, coming out to Bridge, who heads it back in. David Nish, who scored the winning goal against Portland. And here's Ian Bridge, crossing one in front. Nobody there. Great cross by Bridge, though. Now it's Hudson, playing it back for Stock. Seattle pressuring immediately here. Everybody up, and it's Buttle to Hudson. Seattle's going to look like they're going to try to, try to get a, a quick one tonight. Well, I'll tell you, Steve, Seattle's got their best attacking team in since uh, they started the season. Derek Smethurst, uh, I have to say, adds a great dimension to the offense because he does all kinds of subtle and beautiful things off the ball, which uh, really takes markers away from the uh, people like Roger Davies and, of course, with Tommy Hutchison in there. It's going to really give 
the midfield an opportunity to come forward as well. So you ought to see good control by Seattle. As usual. So far, they've dominated right off the bat to establish the pass. They've got San Jose on their heels, and here's Stevie Butler. Nice move by Bolo. Ball knocked loose. He goes back to Fierstorff to get it. Butler leaves the ball. Comes into the penalty area against Kudutsky. Now lays it off for Hudson. Hudson retreats. He's got stock coming up the left side, but instead gives it to Green. San Jose tries to work the trap. Can't do it. Sending across in the middle. It's cleared away by Mihailovich. And it's Maseko. Ball picked off there by Hutchison, who gets his first touch of the ball in a sounder uniform. Now comes off to Nish. Seattle keeping it uh, in the San Jose end, putting on the pressure. Nish in front. And third away, it comes to Maseko, who takes it back to Hewitt. Seattle with the early pressure. And San Jose with early signs that they're going to be quite defensive. Anytime Seattle penetrates the attacking third, they've got eight and sometimes nine men back there defending. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, whether those central axis crosses to Roger Davies are going to pay off or whether they're going to have to go higher and farther over top and let them go wing to wing. Reeves back to Ian Bridge. Hudson now going to play it forward. Here comes Nish. Sauter tries to hem him in, can't do it, and lost it back to Hudson. Hudson accelerates forward to midfield stripe. Now to Smithhurst, who traps. Smithhurst to Huddy, overlapped by Greaves. Hudson approaches the 35 against Kadubski. Now sending it off to Greaves. Greaves now looks in, working on uh, Gersdorf. Now he sends it back to Hudson. Hudson looking in for Davies. He gets it off to Greaves. Greaves fires a shot, and it's over the end line. Nice pass, though, by Seattle, and they get the first shot on goal. Good things developing, Steve, already. Uh, here's a replay where we see Alan Hudson, the captain, Send that ball over. That's the first one that's made contact with the central axis man. Roger nicks a nice head ball back down to Roy Greaves. As we said, the midfielders are now going to be able to come forward into the box because those defenders are going to have to be very alert to mark people like Seattle has on the front line. Hudson. Tommy Hutchinson, number 20. He's moving in there, almost got his foot to it. From Coventry City and another in a long line of very fine wingers that Seattle has had over the years. Jimmy Robertson, Jimmy Neighbor, and Hutchison. And we'll ask you for a, perhaps a comparison as to the differences in the styles of play between several past Seattle wingers. Greaves, a long shot over top, not that far off from that far out. And it's a goal kick. And you know, from the technical standpoint, Steve, the reason why Roy took that shot is that Hewitt was actually moving out to his right, anticipating a cross. And Roy saw that out of the corner of his eye and said, fine, if we can get him going the other way, we'll just put one right in the back of the net. Well, number 11, you'll keep your eye on him tonight, Georgie Best for San Jose. Best in 1961, signed by Manchester United at the age of 15. He made his debut on the Manchester United forward line as a 17-year-old. And United went on to win the English FA Cup in 64. Best earned the first international cap appearance from the Northern Irish Ireland national team in a match versus Wales. And just a whole list of achievements for this man. In 67, Manchester wins the English First Division Championship. And here's a pass to Davies. We'll see what happens to, to him. Now off to Nish. Nish crossing one in front. And there's, uh, let's get the ball. Silva with it. Silva coming out of his own end. Now off to the magic man, Georgie Best. Long pass for Silva. He was in the slot. It was intercepted by Butler. But uh, in 67, in the European Cup semifinal in Benfica, Spain, the Best scored three goals in the first 20 minutes of the game to spark a 5-1 upset of Benfica in Spain. Great move by Hutchinson. In front of goes, the shot just wide. Beautiful centering pass by Tommy Hutchinson. And Davies had Hewitt. Almost, but it's just slithered past. All right, now there's the answer to your question, Steve. There we see the end of a almost a field-long dash on the part of Tommy Hutchison, and we'll see another angle with our ground camera and our end zone camera. There we see the front view of, of Tommy Hutchison, a magnificent cross right to the head. Couldn't have been more perfect if he'd have teed it up and shot it with a rifle. Right to the head of Roger Davies, who applauds his new teammate because he knows he was served a good ball well on and uh, and Roger really gave it a good try just barely missing the net. San Jose tried to trap, couldn't do it. Hutchison with it. 
Now hooks a pass to Greaves right on the money, on the wing. Now to Nish, puts it in play, looking for Smithhurst, clear it away. Seattle with the pressure, comes to Best. Best now to Maseko, lets it on for Silva. Silva now at midfield. Bearing towards the left, gives it to Gersdor. Overlapped by Kadubski. Now to Maseko. Best. Near the 35. Past Buttle. Past Hudson, but not past Greaves. He takes it away. Riach for Hutchison. Hutchison turning it back. And fires a pass to Greaves. Cross field, it goes for Nish. He will try to track it down in front of Kadubski. does so. Now lost one for Davies. Davies with a chest trap for Hudson. Seattle now with a buildup. Hudson ang angling in for Smethurst, nicking it back for Buttle. Buttle gives to Hutchison on the wing. Seattle really uh, spreading this out. Now Smethurst alone in the middle. In front, shoots, and it's blocked by Hewitt. Seattle's still trying to keep it in. Smethurst unmarked in the middle. And the ricochet came right back to him. Here's Hudson. Hudson. Gets the ball intercepted by Ratonski. Now it's ahead to Batista. And this Griggs is trouble. Try to steal it. This Here is trouble. Are the numbers now. Gersdorf off for Best. Seattle back. Best outside the box. Tries a shot. Brand goes down. A nice shot by Best. And now this is one of the problems, Steve, that we're you're going to have to talk about. We're going to take another uh, look at this. As you can see, the cross by Tommy Hutchison at the other end. And Derek gets a nice crack at it, but. Uh, Brand or uh, Hewitt had read it just a little bit. He's wearing the colors that Jack Brand's wearing, so we'll probably mix them up a couple times just to keep ourselves honest. But uh, going back the other end is uh, uh, evidence of one of the things that we're going to have to think about tonight, and that is that the counterattack could sting Seattle a little if they're not careful because they're sending their midfield in deep on the attack. Here's Nish with it. Now to Davies inside the box. Davies trying to get to the byline. Does so. Sending some in front. Hewitt smothers it. Nice move by Davies in the box, though. He got that uh, cross clear. Boy, for a big man, Steve, here's a good example of someone who's got great dexterity with his feet and could say a nice move. Nice move by Hewitt, too. Here's the front view. Fantastic church camera turns work. Completely there around. he goes again. Perfect control. Knows exactly what he's going to do. And a nice cross. And here you have to give Hewitt a gold star, too, because with his defender trying to untie his shoes right in front of him, could have had a... Easy slip up there and deflected it right in the net. Which is a heck of a good place to deflect it if it's the opponent. Buttle at midfield against Maseko. Hudson finding Buttle down the left wing. This time, Mihailovic gets the assignment against Buttle. Buttle outside the box. Duking towards the byline. Takes Mihailovic wide. Sending it front. Metter shoots and saves. the contest but there's no score here you go here's the magician little mr magic one of the most uh, valuable players in the uh, indoor league this past winter and there's a great save by hewitt that got his teammates off the hook for poor defensive work and the cross again from the end zone and there's Derek smithers coming in well placed head and uh I'll tell you, we've got some uh, good, exciting things happening here. You're beginning to see all of the hopes and dreams and plans uh, culminate and consolidate here because uh, they're going to work in grand style. Intercepted, bad pass. It was intended for Batista, and there is Greaves. Greaves with it for Hudson. Hudson nicking it forward to Smithhurst. He's on side. Smithhurst at the byline for Hudson in front. Hewitt grabs it in front of Hudson. Seattle really with the pressure right now. Derek set the ball up, knocked it off, and immediately burst into that space. And, of course, you have to think about well-timed passes because that pass has to be immediate. One touch, which Alan Hudson gave to him, and uh, he turned it back a little bit further. If it hadn't been quite the angle, he'd have had a good shot at it. Hudson letting it go through for Nish. Nish 30 yards away against Kadubski to Hudson. Give and go pass back to Nish. Nish trying to take it around. Kadubski first corner coming up for Seattle. So Seattle with the winning goal at 104-02 on Wednesday night against Portland off a corner kick. Going down to the corner now. Hudson Se and Buttle. Seattle's been awfully uh, tough on their set plays from the corner, so opposing teams have better certainly look out. Buttle into the box. Buttle centering it, and San Jose clearing it. 
And he should be glad, Hewitt anyway, should be glad that his defenseman sent it across the net because Hewitt was leaning completely out of the play and it was a wide open net. Seattle, a second consecutive corner now. Now here's a switch. Uh, this shows us the pattern too. Now that uh, Tommy Hutchison is here, uh, we've got him taking the left-hand side. There's the uh, deflection. And Tommy Hutchison is going to take the corner from the left side. So it's in-swinger season for the Sounders. I don't think we've seen an out-swinger yet. Hutchinson, and we have a whistle. Apparently, they're going to retake it, or it's going to go back over. And they'll retake it here. Got a little mix-up over there. Now he's giving it off to Stevie Buttle. Here comes Buttle into the byline, sending it in front. Hewitt right there in front of Bridge. And that one a little too deep. sometimes well while they're building up and trying to get out of there we'll see a beautiful shot from behind Stevie Buttle takes that cross not quite high enough you got to keep in mind those goalkeepers are eight feet tall or higher because they can use their hands if they have them Hudson stripping the ball away San Jose looking a little disorganized right now Hutchison looking for Smithurst on side this time goes high with it over the net but Smetter is really oh, yeah, he's, working free tonight. He, he's, he's magnificent at that. He gets off. He's not happy with himself there because he wanted a little better crack at that. Beautifully served ball. There it is coming in like a big mushroom. Gets the head on it, but doesn't uh, get the, re the exact angle that he wants. But I'll tell you, keep your eye on him. That's exactly what we've been talking about. He manages to elude his marker and get open and uh, his teammates are seeing it. They are certainly aware of what's happening there. Best. Batista going back to Brand. We have to remind our fans that at halftime they should have their pencils ready. We'll be giving the uh, call letters and the address where they can send their comments, their questions and answers. And we want to thank the fans because we're getting a lot of them. And of course we'll be uh, covering the feature that uh, we started just the other night. Hutchison looking for Smethurst. That one in the air, here comes Davies. He wanted to take a shot at it, but Kadutsky set, uh, stepping in front of him. Now Davies going back to retreat. Davies will pick up the foul. Yeah, he'll always give it to the guy coming from behind, even though he got pushed out the ball. There he is. That's all he could do is laugh at that one. Now you can see him coming out in. He'll just push him right out of the way. Maseko. But we'll Best be with it. We'll be covering the question that came in, and then I'll give it back to you, because George Best will usually get it in there. Best to Maseko. Tried to back heel it, get past uh, Bridge, but there was stop to lend his support. Uh, Jeannie and Bill Summer, uh, or Valmer, rather, who uh, won the uh, question of the halftime the other night, uh, we're going to answer the second part of their question about uh, the nature of Washington State soccer and how you get involved. So Met her. Stay tuned. Back to Nish. Now sending it short for Davies. He controls in the box. Now working around, looking far. Here's a shot. It goes over top. And Seattle wants a corner out of it. But it will be a goal kick. Yeah, Davies, a beautiful move in the box. And again. I think Tommy Hutchison, as we see him there, I think Tommy wanted that ball. As the ball came over, Roger showing again his magical ability for a big man. And uh, there comes... Uh, Roy Greaves, here's another shot of it, another angle. Just a little flick. There's how you do it, folks. All the young players, easy as pie. And Hudson to Smethurst. No frustration sitting in on Seattle yet either, which you might have expected. Smethurst trying to look for Hudson. But that's very important, too, when uh, they have still, as much as they have dominated this game, they have not put one in yet, but still not getting frustrated. Well, that's all right. You see what happens is the team gets an idea of how it's going to go, and uh, it's a matter of patience now, not to get uh, over-anxious and not to rush it. That may go it's a corner. We'll see. No, it's a, I thought maybe a, a defender might have deflected it. I'll tell you, other than Georgie Best, though, uh, the San Jose Earthquake team couldn't impress Mount St. Helens. Davies, Hudson. 
He looks for Hutchison. They play it to Buttle. Now Hutchison has it. At the 35. Stock to his left. Hudson to his right. Hutchison trying to move around Maseko. Hutchison fights him off. Still controlling. Working on Silva. Silva tries to take a shot at him. Hudson now. For Davies. Has Buttle. Now they'll try to set up perhaps a cross. As they'll let him work on Mihailovic. Sending it in front for Smethurst. Cleared away by San Jose. There's Davies. Silva with it. He sends it high. Nish and Batista going for it. Bridge wins it. Stock. Now we have a minute to play in the half. Off to Buttle. Buttle working on Silva at the 35. Buttle sending it in. Ratonsky there. To Mihailovic. Back to Hewitt. Now I'm sure San Jose trying to uh, work the clock down and try to escape without it being scored on. You said it right there. I think what they'd like to do is just uh, hold on to the ball if they have to go back to their keeper. Sorry about that. Didn't mean to predict it. <laughs> They're and just the killing it. The boos are there because the fans can see it. And San Jose's anxious just to get into the... That'll be a victory for them if they can go into halftime 0-0. But Maseko with it with 10 seconds to go. He's at the 35, working on Ria. Now for Batista, back to Maseko. Brand out, a sliding tackle. Masika has it. Brand is out of the net. They send it in front. It's far post for Sauter. They go crash. Brand crashes into the post. Two players are down as the clock winds down to one and a half. We'll have to see how both Sauter and Brand are as they went crashing down in there in the corner of the net. Sauter okay. being helped up by Nish. Yeah, he's okay. Just a little stunned. You can see on the replay that uh, a lot of excitement here in the last uh, three or four seconds of the game. San Jose again on the counterattack, and Jack couldn't quite find the handle. And Masika comes back and uh, creates some problems. Here's the one-touch cross coming over, and Jack goes up. Actually, there's a traffic jam there. You can see what happened. Another cross, uh, look at it from behind the net. And here we'll get a little better shot at what Jack Brand was looking at. That's the goalkeeper hates to see this. But he did the right thing. He covered that with his body well. Didn't quite get the handle on it. And as you can see him crawling, trying to get up, he just nicks it enough to deflect it. So uh, we've got, got uh, the action. And here we're going to see it happen. As the ball comes across, Jack's following. This is an awkward position because he's got his back to it. You'll see it right here where he goes up and crosses over Ian Bridge and Sutter and uh, they wind up in the net. So the halftime score, Seattle nothing, San Jose nothing. Well, we had a very exciting first half. The uh, Rittenberg, the Vice President of Development, and uh, Mary Backus, who's the uh, probably world's best publicist for soccer, and we'll be telling you a little bit more about some of those things in uh, how to get involved in soccer as the broadcast goes on, but uh, right now we are coming back to uh, the second half of action. Buttle looking long. There's Davies. Looked like he might have had a handball on that. Hands go up. And what will they award? A goal kick here. Hate to see the officials start off the second half in the wrong foot, Steve, but uh, there was a lot of confusion between the uh, linesman and the official here. It looked to me. Uh, a little bit of a handball there. We'll let that go by. Maybe one thing balanced off the other. Here comes Maseko. He glides by stock, but Rhea comes up and upends Maseko. See, Seattle trying to regain possession. Best for Silva can control. It's out of bounds for Seattle. And, and while they put it back in play as uh, Jeff Stock throws one into Stevie Buttle. Maybe we can go down to Simon, find out uh, what happened at halftime and what to expect uh, the second half. Well, Cliff, I just talked to the coach and uh, the first thing he said was the fact that the team were just a little too anxious in the first half. They're trying to please the crowd and score some goals. Ball pops loose. Now Bridge. His friend couldn't control that tap. And now Seattle ends up with it. What was that, Simon? They he he said he thought that the team was just a little too anxious in the first half. They got to settle down a bit. They were trying to uh, please the crowd and get some goals, and obviously it wasn't working. 
but I guess the major thing is that he's obviously going to bring Derek Smethurst out and put Mickey Cave in. He's not happy with the way Derek's playing. Uh, mm. Mickey's warming up now on the sideline, so I can expect to see a change real quick here, quite honestly. Unless he has a change of heart, of course, ideally. Well, that's part of the fun of the game. Here's Davies now. Davies slamming in. He tries a shot. Score! the box and there was a ricochet in there that ball flicked off the foot of the defender but it's all academic because uh, the way that shot was taken with the velocity and the power of that shot almost a mix up there with teammate Stevie Buttle it was headed for the upper right hand corner the deflection simply uh, changed the angle a little bit but uh, it really doesn't matter much because that ball was uh, actually ticketed for the back of the net before it left his foot a tremendously hard shot power shot those are awfully hard to gauge because as he was going along the line uh, uh, the goalkeeper didn't know quite exactly what angle he would take now Garisdorf looking in Sutter trying to put the head on the ball Silva takes an elbow from Buttle now I was going to mention before that shot was taken that that's part of the fun of the game is sometimes is disagreeing and I know that uh, we'll see that one We've got two disagreements coming up, but I'll get to that in a minute. There you see Sauter taking a shot, his bottle right here. Doesn't quite get a open. foot on it. Yeah, he doesn't quite get a foot on it. Actually, this was just a, a reflex. It was a move to try and protect himself, and he slapped him across the face. He really didn't mean to do that, but uh, looks like it's going to uh, be a throw-in for, for San Jose. One disagreement, but I don't think anybody deflected the ball. It looked like Davies got it clean. Did you say that it, it was deflected off the Yeah, they just caught the just caught the foot of the player as it went. It wasn't uh, it wasn't much, but it was just enough to change the angle a little bit. Uh, maybe uh, maybe we can sit down in the studio, Stephen, and then in a future game you can apologize. <laughs> I was just about to say the same to you there. Here it comes Hutchison flying in. Hutchison to Smedhurst. Smedhurst leaving it off for Nish. Nish tries a shot. It's blocked. Comes off to Mihailovic, and the other disagreement was, well, frankly, between you and Coach Hinton, because uh, if Simon quoted uh, the coach right, he was not all that pleased with the way Smethurst was playing, and I know that you were uh, that you liked the way Smethurst played. Well, to be fair, Steve, you've got to talk about a couple of things that, uh, uh, well, it may be academic anyway, because Mickey Gave's back in the bench, and the coach has uh, exercised his right to say, well, I'll maybe stick with who we've got. And uh, if we get a chance here without the action, we'll go back down to Simon. But right now, it looks like something's heating up. Hudson for Grease at the byline. He'll send it in front. Looks for Davy Shot. Good! Did, did I say heating up? Holy Toledo! And we might have a, one of those cloudbursts tonight. So we see old Gary Schugert, and there's Roger Davies. Prolific scorer that he is. Captain Alan Hudson with his magic. And Roy Greaves rescues this one, turns it back into the eight-yard area. And a power shot by Roger Davies. Mr. Hewitt's down there saying, Lord, deliver me from this because I don't want to be here the rest of this game. And I would say the same. He's got a long time and a long night ahead of him. Roger Davies scoring two goals in two minutes and ten seconds. Greaves the assist on that one. Davies with now his fifth goal on the year. He has ten points. And the assist to Mr. Greaves. And Seattle leads it two to nothing. And for Greaves, that's his first point of the year. As he gets an assist on the play. Hudson with a gorgeous pass with the out step, uh, step to Greaves who went to the byline to cut it back into Davies and Davies not well marked on the two goals that he scored. Well even if uh, he was marked and there was a player within a step or two of him Steve there you see a picture of how a player a uh, proficient player like Roger Davies should strike that ball. That ball usually I should be a warning on that. Let's see if he gets as anxious to talk to the player. 
You know, the thing I was going to ask you right after Davey scored the first goal was if now that would really take uh, San Jose out of their shell. We might see more coming with the way yeah, Seattle well, played. San there Jose does not later. have a clue tonight, Steve. Uh, they are they are not really a well-organized side yet. They've been defensive from the time they've been out there. There's a and, perfect example. Yeah, and you have to say that uh, it's because of the way Seattle's playing, too. They make a team play that way. Here they comes Butler. Angling in. Now they'll send it back. Spillers to the set. He looks in front. Tried to turn it around. And it went out over the end line, but it was off a of San Jose player. Smedhurst heads up play. And San Jose looking hey. why they are 0-4. And point. here we'll see a picture. There's a pass back to a defend to the goalkeeper. It's off mark anyway, but uh, Derek had slithered in there. And if any fault uh, develops there, it could be that he might have knocked it back out to Stevie Buttle. But there again, uh, quickness and quickness of execution is the order of the day. We'll have a substitution for San Jose, and uh, I'm surprised that they haven't come a little early. There are a couple of players out there that haven't acquitted themselves very well, and uh, maybe Bill Folks has shown us that he's getting used to the team he's got. And he's going to make some changes, a couple of them maybe. Number 13, Paul Toomey, come in. And coming out will be Kudunski. San Jose down now, 2 to nothing. Seattle with a corner kick. And the way they've been playing, you'd have to think that the only thing in question now is whether Seattle is going to get the full maximum points tonight. You can bet your little law books on it, my friend. If they don't get their points tonight, here's Buttle in swinging it. Shot scores! <laughs> oh, yes! All right! Roy Greaves getting all his points in one night. Oh! Who would have thought that possible? And there we see some of the, I'll guess, over 16,000 fans on their feet, happy. The floodgates are open. San Jose wishes they were heading back to the Bay Area. It's George. all happening now. Now it was between the sticks in a magnificent way. That was Greaves. If I'm not mistaken, it happened so quickly. Yeah, we'll take a look at that again while San Jose is trying to find the road map. And here it comes across. Ian Bridge holds the defender while Roy Greaves pops her in the back of the net between the sticks. And uh, things are beginning to happen. Everything that uh, didn't happen in the first half out of this same kind of pattern of play is now beginning to take shape. There's Hutchison. All kinds of room. Looking in. There's Davies. Ball pop, popping up. And Davies completely unmarked. And Bill Fox has to be wondering what is going on. Well, he should have known. He's been in the game long enough to know that it was a prayer. I would guess that if you're a religious man, he spent most of the half time not talking but praying because uh, they were on their heels. 14 shots. Roger wishes he had another shot at that where he could just nail it in the net. I think he was going to try to be a little more careful about that and finesse it when he could have just power driven it. Bridge trying to run down Sauter. He does so and wins the ball. Beautiful play. Now to Hutchison. No support. And he sends it in front for Davies. And you have to have the feeling they're going to pull off a lot of magic this year. That whole front line. Well, I'll tell you, Steve, uh, Alan Hinton has put together a blend of players here that I believe is the finest group of talent, the finest assemblage of talent that we've ever seen in Seattle. And uh, they're working with great understanding. Uh, and I think uh, something to be pointed out is the uh, really unheralded play of Alan Hudson. He's doing some beautiful directing of play this year. And although there have been lots of nights when they've gone back line to the target man, the midfield is very involved. Stock looking for Cave. And offside. Offside against Seattle. But it's it's the presence of a player like Tommy Hutchison. And we don't want to beat the bandwagon that uh, uh, legalism reigns. 3 nothing Seattle. We just really don't want to embarrass Tommy with uh, the kind of thing. There's Alan Hudson. Hard at work, closing down the angles on defense, waiting to gain possession and go again. But uh, this did what we said. It would open up the middle, 
And perhaps uh, the evidence of that is the fact that Tommy Hutchison has two goals tonight. And I mean, oh, uh, Tom, Roger Davies has two goals tonight. And uh, I'll tell you, that Tommy Hutchison is still running with the same strides he had the first 10 minutes of the match. Brian to Silva. Silva working on Bridge. He's there. And then there's Brand covering it up. Uh, Bridge having a lot to do with that because he tried to cut down the angle that Silva had on goal. Now we'll see a replay of this. Ryan uh, does a nice job here of getting the ball to Silva, and Silva tries his best and finally says, ah, oh, heck, I'm not going to get through, so I'll take a whack at it. Jack Brand says, ho-hum. Picks it off, and here's the maestro. Oh, it's just into Mickey Cave. He tries a shot, just wide. But not missed by much, and Alan Hinton like what he saw. Oh, I'll tell you, that's all right. He's up clapping. Mickey's scratching his left ear. There's a nice little push at the last second. And here's a left footer by Mickey Cave, and we're going to see just how close it did come. Oh, it looks like it even got the tail end of a shirt there. And it did. It's a corner kick. Wow. Clear down, and it is Hutchison. Incidentally, John Ryan was uh, not suiting up tonight. Did not suit up. Because uh, perhaps twisted his ankle. He doesn't really know. He just knows that it hurts. Hutchison on his feet now. will try to stay in. Oh, it's hard to say how much longer he'll be in for. There's no need to try to work a player too hard, especially with his lead. Here's Hudson. Cave trying to track it down. San Jose will come forward now, see if they can't draw some, somebody off. And they go back door to Nish. Nish trying to get around Maseko. And will it, stuff oh, just hits the post. And here we'll see Mickey play. Cave with his throw in. Whoops. Davies. Back for Hudson. Here's Bubble. Shoots good. going on down there and here you see it everybody waiting for Mickey Cave and this he just popped it to Roger Davies who does more of his magic and you have to give credit to Alan Hudson give Alan Hudson credit for getting a couple of curly locks on that ball and deflecting it just one extra shot here you see it a chip over and here's Alan coming into the picture and Alan just gets a nick on it tips it a little bit further and then the diving header on the part of Stevie Buttle, and I'll tell you, he paid a price for that because those knees took a nice slide on the turf. Now Buttle with an assist tonight, a goal. It's his second goal of the year for Steve Buttle. It's now four to nothing. Uh, to be coming in for Hutchison. And Hutchison's uh, slowing up a little bit now. I'm uh, sure he's, he's very tired. I, I'm, I'm not sure. I think he's still got the stamina to go. It's, uh, it's a question of, uh, it's really a question of cramping. You can see that surface that we talked about ahead of time being a problem. Now the other linesman, the other linesman should have his flag up because this linesman does. You see they're not working together as we watch the replay and Roger tries to flick it and he gets nailed right there. But you see the other linesman should have his flag up. Now he, he weighs it. But he's not watching. He's staring. He's a spectator. And just to point Tommy out, Hutchison coming off for a great performance tonight. And fans loving every minute of it. And I know that Hutchinson's going to be uh, one of the stars that the Sounder fans will come out to see. Fine performance by Tommy Hutchinson from Coventry City in his debut as a Seattle Sounder. Buttle looking in bridge there, and he knocks it over the end line. Seattle four, San Jose nothing. Again, trying to uh, point out some of the uh, different aspects of Washington State soccer. Uh, we were telling you about the upcoming uh, Far West Regional Tournament of uh, girls the weekend of uh, May 9th through 11th, and then the following weekend with the boys down in Renton and Kent. They're going to be playing at Lincoln Park in Kent and at Renton Stadium in Renton, and uh, those games are all going to be free admission. Davies now past Maseko. There's Barton. He's in. He shoots. This goes wide. Davies and Barton communicating <laughs> very well on that play. And Davies now, tapped it back for Barton. Now, take a look at this. Now, here's some options for you. There's a beautiful, quick one-touch pass on to Barton, who keeps his balance. He's got two options. And he knows which options they are, and he elects to take that one. You, you can't follow it. That's a good option. 
He also had Mickey Cave completely unmarked to his right, so had he square balled it, Mickey would have just drilled it in the back of the net as well. So there you have what you call beautiful alternatives, either one of which were good ones, and uh, he just missed. That happens. He tried to get it underneath uh, Hewitt and uh, didn't quite connect. Brian Watonski and Riach and Stock back there for it. And I'm sure Seattle really wants that shutout now for Jack Brand. And he can't go to sleep because in the last five or seven minutes, uh, San Jose proves that they're tough. There comes Barton. That's Maseko. Maseko, out of fatigue, I think, not even going for the face, just kind of chasing after him. Barton picking up the foul. <laughs> Maseko forgot you can't pass the ball inside the box. Here's the tussle. Now, he keeps his position. There's where the foul should have been called because Maseko not only pushed off, then he pushed him again. And uh, the, the official, again, through his indifference this evening, I can't really uh, give this official high grades tonight. He calls it against Barton, and that uh, was an unjust call. The ball for Best. Best working on bridge now. The attendance is out. You're off by about 3,000 tonight, Mr. McGrath. Well, I'd hate to have you in court with me. <laughs> hey, Captain, were you out there at the uh, for the opening day of the voting season? Yeah, I had my uh, tub made out of milk cartons out there. <laughs> Put my handkerchief on it, and they wouldn't let me through the Mount Lake slip. <laughs> you need a stove. You know, you need one of those hats and a corn cob pipe in order to get out there today. Beautiful day, though, wasn't it, Stephen? Certainly. Summer came early this year. Buttle looking for Greaves. And he was pushing off on Toomey, apparently. And a goal kick here now for San Jose. Anything else you wanted to say about the Washington State Soccer Association? Well, it's just a tremendous uh, event. It's, uh, it's a privilege, of course, to be able to host this very prestigious tournament. And, uh, on May 9, 10, 11, it'll be girls under 12, under 14, 16, and 19, and uh, and the boys uh, the following weekend under 12, 14, and 16. When you think of uh, 13 different states putting their teams in here, they'll be vying for the McGuire Cup and the national competition. There's Ratonski. He shoots. Oh, and they try to go far, and there's Brand coming out. He was caught off. Stock to clear it away. And uh, time to go down the field here in the waning moments to Simon. No, we won't, Simon. There's Best shoots. Brand there for it. Silver in. Brand gets a, a hand to it. Now in front. Brand knocks down the for a shot. And the shutout is preserved to this point. There he is. He can run for office in this town quietly or noisily. But he proved in that last uh, exchange that uh, it isn't just a good defense that counts. That was the shot that was labeled, and uh, he stopped that baby. Now Hinton pointing out towards the back, and I think he wants to bring these defenders back a little bit. He still wants that shutout. Here's Nish looking forward for Cave. Cleared away. Ratonski on to Masico. Now there's Hudson trying to play him. Riach steps through in front of Best. Ryan trying to track it down. Let's it go. Now he throws in for Best. Best with a couple of very rocket-type shots tonight. Oh, no! But Brand has handled them. Now Best. <laughs> now he's going to try to make everybody believe that he was trying to cross the ball, but I'll tell you, there's uh, no mistake about that. He just wanted to say, hey, don't mishandle me, you furry rascal. And uh, while they're having a chat and we watch the replay, uh, you'll see him. He'll just, uh, he didn't like the way Frank treated him there. And he's going to tell him so. You watch. He's going to just haul off and let Frank have Look at it. Yep. Parton got called for the foul. Now best. Hudson getting a deflection. The corner kick for San Jose. And it'll take him an hour to get there. Simon, what do you got down at the field level? Well, I just talked to Tommy Hutchinson, and uh, he's just suffering from a bit of cramp. I asked him what he thought of his first experience in North American Soccer League. He said this pitch is really wide. you got a lot of open space. And uh, he said he really doesn't think it matter whether it's a fast defense or not. You've got so much space here, you can run by him. I'll give it back to you. Outswinger. Comes Riot. 
Sauter going up for it. Ryan tries a shot. And now Gree is playing it back to Brand. Roy, you got to be a little calmer in those situations. 85 red shirts around him. Fort Lauderdale next week. New England the week after. Two road games in a row for Seattle. And they'll pick up a full nine points tonight to have a total of, uh, let's see, my 44. It'll be six and one. And will remain atop the Western Division of the National Conference. Here they bad. <laughs> <laughs> Those guys can't even trap a ball. Oh, it's Seattle Pacific there against them tonight. Oh, I'd like to play him tonight. But it's uh, Sons best. Wouldn't want to play against Georgie because uh, Greaves against Toomey. We're inside now two minutes. Hudson, Barton. Ball out of bounds. San Jose throw in. Seattle four to nothing over San Jose. Victory lap tonight, folks. The Quakes may shake Mount St. Helens, but that's okay because the dome is sounder, whatever that means. Just reading one of those signs oh. that doesn't match. Doesn't rhyme. Churchman, Maseko now. And they'll play out the last minute. Best. You mean as opposed to not playing it out? I guess. <laughs> Uh-oh. This one heading towards the end line. It'll be a goal kick. Brand, there, there he is. Sixth shutout. Stock playing it back to Brand. A half a minute to play. You know, all opened up in the second half after a nothing, nothing first half. Seattle scored four goals, two by Roger Davies. Here comes Buttle working on Maseko. Maseko pushing at him. And they'll call Maseko this time. Sends the ball out of bounds. Won't get it. This is seven seconds. I don't think we'll get it off. Buttle setting it down. Working it in front, looking for Davies. And just over the top as he looks for the hat trick. That time runs out. Shows you what I know. So see ya.